Hey, this is Martin from Abacus Whiskers, and I want to show you our overview page and how you can change it to meet your requirements. So there's probably not a great deal of things you'd probably want to change on the overview page. Um, we've got the tabs for the different months on the left hand side and we've got tabs to the major pages on the right hand side. One thing you might want to change is the uh, font. You might not like the font choice that we've made. Uh, the quickest way to change all the fonts on the entire sheet is to go up and click on where the uh, the row headers, uh, row headings, and the column headings meet in the corner by that triangle, and that will select all of them. And you can change the um, the font with the drop down and the size. Bear in mind that by changing the font, the row height and and width might need to be altered as well. Um, so to do that, you can select the ones that you want to change. So maybe the the months get messed up by changing the font. Um, so click on the furthest left column uh, header uh, heading that you want to change U, and I want to change all the way to AQ hold down shift a left mouse click on AQ and that selects all of those and then I can right click and I can adjust the column width um, so I can't really remember let's see if well, this will tell me what one of them is at the moment column width therefore so let's try uh, making them slightly bigger. Let's go column width five. There you go. And that's adjusted it a little bit and moved everything over and keeps everything looking looking nice. Okay. Um, row height works the same way. You might want to make these rows um, bigger. Um, so let's just see what they are at the moment. Right click on row height. They're 20. Let's make them 25. So uh, left click on the row heading for the uh, top uh, row that you want to change. Go down to the bottom row that you want to change. Holding down shift, left click. It selects all of them. Right click, row height, and then you can change that to 25. Um, bear in mind that will change it all the way across, which makes these tabs slightly bigger uh, or smaller if you go smaller. Uh, and also those um, cells within the calendar overview there as well. But actually 25 doesn't make a massive difference. Uh, it, but it might be useful to you. Um, another change that you might want to make um, is to the useful websites and logins. We've not given you a great deal of space here and there's much more inf uh, space for key information which might be less useful to you. Um, if you're going to extend this I would move the key information down a little bit first of all. So click on the key information cell, drag down a few cells and do control C to copy. Go down to where you want it. I'm going to stick it here. Click in that cell and then control V to paste. All right. And that has then given me smaller key information, but has opened up this little bit of space here. Let's take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from there. Select those ones, control C to copy, click in the one underneath, and then do control V and it's pasted it down. It's got one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I click there, control V. And we've got loads more useful website login uh, and key information space, but the formatting for the rest of the page hasn't been affected. You can change any of the colors and that works the same on um, uh, on any cell. You can change the color of any of the headings and any of the cells that you want by using the fill function.